This week on Sport Fishing, we're back down the beautiful East Cape at Hotel Buena Vista. And today fishing with me is gonna be my parents, my mom, my dad, my niece Chelsea, and my little brother Mike, who flew in from Kansas. Now Mike's never been down here before, never been offshore fishing for marlin or anything, so we hope to show him what it's like and hook him up into a nice fish. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fish is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific Coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. We just hooked up to our first billfish of the day. My brother's on, Mike. He's never fought an offshore fish before, never been tuna fishing, marlin fishing, anything. First time here doing it. Turn, use the handle. There you go. This is his first time, so I'm kind of walking through it. Lift the rod up, wind down. You gotta move the line back and forth with your fingers. Yeah. Right, stop, lift up. Wind down. Okay, there's your fish right there. Okay, right here on the side. It's a marlin. It's a marlin right there. It's a sailfish. This is a real small sailfish, a baby sailfish. Perfect for my brother's first billfish. How'd you like it? Beginner fish, yeah, great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and release this fish. We're gonna take a little break from the action here, fill the tackle box, and give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip. Let's let him go. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. All right, nice job. Great stuff. This week in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today in the East Cape. We're fishing offshore, looking for billfish, tuna, dorado. You never know what to expect, really. But we're using the lures, looking for those big billfish. Now, here's three examples of the type of lures that we use. And you'll notice one thing that's in common with all of them is I really like to use trolling lures that have flat heads. And the reason for that is the lure is going to pop through the water. It looks like a fish trying to escape. And we've seen it with underwater cameras that every time the lure popped out of the water, the marlin gets closer and closer to it, then finally attacks it. Now, the three different sizes basically represent three different types of fish we want to catch. The largest one is always fish close to the boat, right next to the bubble trail, really close to the boat, is for the blue marlin. And it will also attract the stripers and the sailfish to get close to the boat. But usually as a rule, the fish that bites a lure this big, is gonna be a blue marlin, nothing smaller than 200 pounds, normally around three to 500 pounds and bigger will bite something this big. If you don't wanna catch a fish that big, don't put this in the water. Blue marlin, stripers, uh, the smaller blues like fish 150, 200 pounds will eat this size, the zucker lure, but the striped marlin like these a lot. They're a little big for the sailfish, but striped marlin really like these as they jump out of the water. These will put behind the boat around the second wake, and we're trolling those around seven, eight knots. They will also pop out of the water, but these we do not put on the outriggers. Normally on the outriggers, we're gonna put something like this. A much smaller lure, 3.5 zucker. These fly out of the water really good. They look like flying fish or small dorados or small skipjack, whatever kind of baits the fish are in the water chasing, and these will pop out of the water really good. These smaller sizes are what you like to put on the outriggers, and they attract the sailfish and the striped marlin really good. Sailfish really like these smaller lures. And these are the basic lures. You wanna match the colors to the fish that you see in the area. If there's Dorado around, if there's tuna around, you wanna match them. 
And what I normally do is I'll run a couple of lighter colors and a couple of darker colors at the same time. Often we're trolling anywhere from four to six lures at a time. So I'm gonna have the closer ones might be the darker ones like the skipjacks for the represent the blue marlin. If there's a lot of Dorado around, then I might get a Dorado color bait and keep that close to the boat. And again, if there's a lot of skipjacks, something like this will work out really good. And if there's a lot of flying fish, you're gonna want something lighter color, not quite this dark on the outriggers to get those sailfish to come up and bite. You can find all this stuff at your local tackle store and uh, go ahead and visit and see the different sizes and colors, you know, what you might need. You don't need to buy anything to go fishing down the East Cape. All the boats have these lures available there that you can use. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. So we're out here in the grounds where the marlin are. I was sitting up, up top on the flybridge with the captain. And just as we're cruising out here, we already got that one sailfish. I saw two sailfish, uh, two more smaller sailfish just laying in the water. They weren't on the surface where we normally see them. They were submerged, just big purple spots in the water. So uh, we drove right over them went nice and slow. One of them came up and slapped the outside trolling rig. So our deckhand, Miguel, ran down and he's got a live, a live bait in the water. So we have a live bait and a ballyhoo out there. So what our skipper's doing right now is kind of circling the area, trying to see if we can get these sailfish to come back up. We know they're a little aggressive because they came up and they slapped at the trolling lure, but we don't get bit here in a second. Looks like they already decided to make the move. So. Miguel's gonna wind in that line and we're gonna start trolling again. So this, this is how we find the fish out here, is we're trolling and we're using our eyes, trying to find fish that are up on the surface digesting their food. And there's a bunch of other boats here. We got called in that some of these other boats had already hooked a few marlin. And so far we've been lucky. We got one sailfish on the boat. Not a big sailfish, but for my brother's first billfish ever, it was a good starter fish, a good size little billfish for him to get. So we're gonna, Miguel's taking that live bait off. We're gonna get the trolling lines back out in position and we'll keep working this area so we can get some more fish. Just take a little break from the action here and go take a look at Hotel Buena Vista so you can see what it's like. So when you come down here, you know what to expect. We'll be right back. any trouble. Skipper's back in the boat down, make it a little bit easier for you. Every time you lower the tip, you want to wind the rod. There you go. You don't have to pull real hard, the boat's backing up for you. There you go. Good job. Chelsea's first marlin ever. It would be an awesome day. My brother got his first billfish ever with the sailfish. Now we got Chelsea working on her first marlin, blue marlin here in the beautiful East Cape. You see what she's doing? She's just doing nice and easy. Skipper's backing the boat down slowly. And she's just picking up line as we can. This fish is still gonna be really green. So once it comes up to the surface, I expect it to jump a lot and it's probably gonna make a couple more runs. You know, I don't think it's gonna come in this easy. As soon as they bit the lines, it made a run over a hundred yards and uh, we had to get all the lines out of the way, get all the commotion out of the way, but we were able to do that, get the fish in. It's right here, he's gonna jump, right here. Ho! Oh! This guy is mean. Had to help Chelsea here at the end. Okay, I'm gonna hand this off to my brother. He's never pulled on a big marlin. Chelsea did a good job, brought the fish all the way to the boat. 
it was straight up and down. It took a little bit more pull on it. So I took over, so now I'm gonna let my brother Mike do it. Here. Okay, we got Chelsea back on her fish. Got in full circle. All three Hernandezes pulled on it. Now we got the smallest, lightest one. There he is. There he is, right there. He's cut the line. That's a big blue marlin. There we go, we're gonna release the marlin. It's too big, it's 400 pounds, 500 pounds. There it goes. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a big fish. So we just got that blue marlin, a little bit over 200 pounds. Chelsea brought it in. Mike helped out. I kind of supervised and had to grab the rod a couple of times. It was a really big, mean fish. And for Chelsea's first fish, that was a really good blue marlin. Big boy. Big, boy, big marlin. My brother, he caught that sailfish earlier, but uh, I think that blue was a lot more hard. <laughs> Had a lot more work with it. A lot of fun fishing. I have a family. My parents are on board too. My brother, my niece, having a great time. It's been fun getting my brother on his first billfish ever, getting Chelsea on her first marlin ever, especially a blue marlin. That's a, should be a great trophy for her. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action. We're gonna go to the galley and show you how to cook up a delicious fish you can catch down here on the beautiful East Cape. We'll be right back. Nice job, guys. This week in the galley, we're here at Hotel Buena Vista, and standing next to me is Axel Valdez, one of the owners of the resort. We've been here many, many times with him. His father and I fished together 28 years ago, and the family's always been nice to me, always invited us back. And Axel, what do you have for us today? Well, guys, uh, today um, uh, is with us uh, Juan, our chef. Uh, he's excited about today, a little nervous. Okay. The first time for him, but um, we we're, we're gonna cook a uh, good wahoo that Charles or, just caught the, today. Yeah, just caught today. One yeah. of the guys in our group caught a wahoo today. He didn't catch one wahoo. He caught two wahoo today. You got a hundred pound wahoo, and I think a sixty pound wahoo. Yeah, the second one was a little smaller, but the first one, you know, oh my god, yeah, he did very well. He even came earlier. Yeah, no, he did really good. All right, chef, how do we get started? Uh, it's only it's the roasted roasted vegetables. Okay. It's only put the deep fry and the wahoo. The feet. Oh. The, Let's keep the skin on there. Uh -huh. he, he kept he's keeping the skin on, but he's making some marks in order for him to um to um for the for the for the uh, heat, the heat to get through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So Chef Juan today um is using uh, a a recipe. Uh, from back home, he's doing an infusion of olive oil with thyme. With thyme. With thyme. Right. Uh, and also uh, using a uh, seed of cilantro and seed of fennel uh, cool. to, to marinate the fish. Um, one of the, one of the um, some of the mistakes that we do back home um, is that we overcook the fish. Right. Um, we have to. We have to. Um, that's one of the reasons why um, he cuts a little bit, uh, makes some some cuts in order mm -hmm. for uh, on the skin side to, to, to the skin sides, and um, also turns it in each 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 side because uh, it's a it's a thin uh, a thick um, a piece, and um, that way you can keep the moisture in and it's still really good. All right. Now that's a really good point, and I like the way the chef keeps the, the skin on the fish. That way, when he puts it on the grill, it's going to stay together and it's going to cook up really nice. That's good. All right, Juan, are we ready? I'm ready to eat some wahoo. Yeah, this is ready. All right, let's try it. The plate and the same little, little. What's that on top, Juan? It's the roasted sauce. 
Are you going to have some of this, Axel, or am I going to eat this all by myself? <laughs> of course, I'm having something. <laughs> all right. This looks really good. And this is some of the salsas that we're using tonight. Uh, as, uh, like I say, last night was the Mexican buffet oh, dinner. Oh, that was really good last night. And, I had uh, like two chili rianos last night. <laughs> this is good. And, uh, and today mm. we have the grill night where we have everything to, everything will be cooked in the grill. Thank you, Juan. That was delicious. You're welcome. The Oaxaca is really good. Just kind of falls apart. I love the vegetables and you barely taste that thyme, yeah. but you taste the olive oil and that's really, really good. Thank you, Axel. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. It's a great a dish. It's the Wahoo dish that one of our guests, Charles, caught earlier today. He got lucky, blessed. He got two Wahoo today, a hundred pounder and a 60 pounder. And we got a little chunk here to use for our cooking segment. <laughs> Juan did a great job with it. All right, well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Come right to the boat. Right there. Chelsea's going to get all the way in now. Okay, got my dad on this marlin now. Chelsea did a good job. Brought the fish all the way to the boat, and then the fish saw the boat spooked and ran. So now my dad's fighting it. There you go. Now move the line back and forth. Turn the, turn the handle, turn the handle. You gotta move the line, there you go. Stop, lift up. Nice, easy fish. You got a striped marlin here. This would be like the Grand Slam. We got a sailfish first. A blue marlin, which is the hardest one to get. And now we have a nice striped marlin. Go, go. Fight the fish. There we go. This is the so, big one. So this is a striped marlin. We got sailfish first, then we got the blue marlin. Striped marlin, Chelsea brought it all the way to the boat. Then it made a long run, then my dad took over, he brought it to the boat, now it's in the boat. Now we're gonna go ahead and release it right now. Okay. 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 There he goes. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you guys. Okay, my friend. Good job. Thanks, Captain. Good captain. Good job, Miguel. We just got bit right now in a striped marlin. It was kind of funny. We were watching our GoPro rod that was underwater and it got banged. And what happened was the striper actually went and hit that. So uh, right after that, he went after a trolling lure. He missed the trolling lure and Miguel, our deckhand, was able to drop back a live bait and we caught the fish. So I'm just starting to get going on. I'm gonna hand this off to my brother. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the line going. So right now I'm all the way down to Spectra. This is 100 pound Spectra. On top of that, I got 50 pound monofilament. And then on top of that, we have 100 pound liter. So I'm just gonna wind up. So right now, Mike, the skipper's slowly backing us down on the fish. So you don't have to pull really hard. So you're just gonna lift the rod up. And every time you lower the rod, you can grab some line. You don't point the rod all the way to the fish. Lift the, see how the rod's pointed? Now when I'm going to lower the rod, hold down the handle, and you got to move the line back and forth. Okay? Don't turn sideways. What? You need a break? Want me to take a break? Okay. I understand why you're having a hard time. You just lift up, and when you get, he's gonna jump now. Here he comes, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. Here he comes, the surface. Here he comes, right there. Boom! There he comes, right at the boat. Where 
there's leader right there. There's color. Okay, here's the striper we just caught. My brother did most of the fight on it. I helped him at the end. Nice job, Mike. Thank you. It's a beautiful fish. We're gonna go ahead and release it right now. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let him go. There he goes. For this week's tip of the week, I really don't want to talk to you about how to catch fish. We just had a lot of fun today. And fishing should always be a fun experience. And when you can do it with family, it's even better. We're down here in the East Cape with my dad. My mom was out with us today, Chelsea too. And my brother, Mike, he came in from Kansas. First time he's ever fished in Baja. And how'd you like it? You had a good time? It's fantastic. You had a lot yeah, of fun? Yeah, we had a great, great captain, crew. Running this has been terrific. It's been a wonderful experience. Great. Good. Well, thanks for joining us. Yep. Thanks, Dad. It was always fun having oh, you out. Thank you. Thank them for bringing us together. And couldn't be better with doing my seventh fishing. Yeah. We had a great, great time. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So on behalf of my brother and my dad, I want to thank the Valdez family for hosting us. I had a great time here at the hotel. Had lots of nice fishing. Great uh, sailfish, marlin, even that big blue marlin. It was pretty cool. The captain and the crew, they all did a great job, too. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. <laughs>